Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about the camping gear that I pack on our weekend trips. I'm going to explain each piece of camping gear that we have and why we have it. So let's start with the tent. Arguably the most important piece of your camping equipment that you're going to take on your motorcycle trip. If you're on a solo motorcycle camping adventure, you may think that you would just need a one-person tent. Of course, it makes sense because it's small, it's light, and uh, it, it can fit on the back of a motorcycle pretty easily. But I would take a two-person tent so that you can fit your gear in. For the weekender trips that we have at Motor New Zealand, we cater for two up riders. Um, so we have a three-person tent, uh, two people, with room for your gear. And the three-person tent we have is right here. It weighs three kgs and it comes in a waterproof liner and it rolls up at the front here with a clip and it also has two clips here and here and it fits pretty well in the top box. We'll talk about weight and weight distribution in the bike when we pack the panniers um, but when you have a tent don't forget to get the tent footprint. Now we have the footprint for the tent for several reasons. The main and most obvious reason is to protect the base of the tent and another reason, maybe a little less obvious, is it helps iron out any bumps or any stones on the ground that you've put the tent over that you may have missed. And a third less obvious reason is that if it rains the footprint should be smaller than the size of the tent so that any water that comes down the sides of the tent goes into the ground as opposed to coming down the sides and pooling under the tent. And that's why we have a tent footprint. The next most important item is the mat. You need to pick a mat that is light, durable, fast and easy to set up and is also insulated so that it keeps the cold from the ground coming through into your body, giving you a bad sleep. Have you ever been camping and you just hated it because you're uncomfortable, you're cold, you need to climb out of a little tent, go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. So one of the most important things you can do to ensure you are comfortable when you're camping is to have the right mat. So the camping mat we have is the Sea to Summit Etherlight XT it is an insulated mat and weighs less than 500 grams. You don't even know you've got it. Now, let's get this camp even more comfortable. So as well as this fancy mat we have, I have also packed a mat to go on the tent floor. This just helps iron out any bumps from the ground and it just makes the space a whole lot more softer and comfortable and then you put your mat on it and you'll have the best sleep ever. So the next bit of camping equipment we will cover is the sleeping bag. We have the Torpedo 7 Alta 500 Down sleeping bag. This is a three season sleeping bag, super light, packs into its own little stuff bag. And the reason why we went with down as opposed to synthetic is that it packs down a lot better. Whereas synthetic will be a little bit puffier and synthetic will also be easier to dry. So we have to work really hard to keep this super dry because down feathers are harder to dry than synthetic, but it packs down a lot smaller. So it's a lot more camper friendly when you're model camping. The next piece of camping equipment we've got are two camping chairs. Some people think they're luxury, others think you can't go without them. We believe you can't go without them because they can pack down pretty small. This is the camp chair we have. This is a Torpedo 7 Featherlight Adventure Chair. It comes with its own bag and it has a top and pieces. Now all these pieces are already connected. All you have to do is unroll it fit everything in where it's supposed to go, and then you put this where it fits, and then you've got a little camping chair. And it's super handy, this bag, because it just fits in real easy. 
zip it up and chuck it into the panniers. Another very important, I would say essential item to take model camping is a secondary shelter. Now the reason why you need a secondary shelter is to set up a shelter so that you can set up a kitchen that is sheltered from the rain. And once you've done cooking and you've cleaned up and you might need to pack things away, you can use it to cover your picnic table and keep everything dry. So we pack this three by two tarp, just a normal tarpaulin, not waterproof, but definitely water resistant. Now we provide this tarp with posts. Now these are four individual pieces here and they clamp together to make two individual pieces and they can hold the tarp up straight like this. And they're great to keep the tarp up. Um, you could also set up a little tent to park the motorcycle in. So our secondary shelter has a lot of uses and these posts, although they're awkward, uh, a little bit annoying to have on the bike, but they are totally worth it, especially if you need to set up your tent in the rain. The first thing you would do is to set up your secondary shelter to give you somewhere to work. I'll show you how to set this up when I'm on site setting up the campsite. Sweet, now that we got shelters out the way, let's talk about our kitchen. Arguably, the next most important thing that you need on a campsite, unless you are eating at restaurants and stuff, which makes a lot of sense when you're on a motorcycle. The first thing you need is fire. I've got a gas canister here, which is pretty cheap. And I've got a single gas burner, which just opens up like so. It's pretty cool. And this has a control for the heat. And it also has an electric starter here, so you don't need to take matches or a lighter. And these pack down pretty small. The next thing I have for the kitchen, which I'm pretty excited about, is a Torpedo 7 version of the jet boil and this is called a rapid boil. Um, it's pretty cool. It's not as expensive as the jet boil, which uh, you may have heard of. Um, but basically, this can bring water to a boil in 100 seconds. Inside it, you can fit the gas canister. And it has its own stand. So put the stand like so, put the gas canister on here so it's tight. Now you've got the bottom here and you screw it straight onto the gas canister. And then on the side here, it's got a control lever. So you can decide how large the flame is. And it also has an electric start here. So once you get that going, you put the lid on and you'll have boiling water in 100 seconds. If you Google how long it takes hot water to boil, it says between five and 10 minutes. So 100 seconds is a massive reduction in time. And also it helps conserve your gas canister. If you are camping for several nights, you might find your gas canister will run out. So with each weekend package, we include two gas canisters so that you can cook something with your pot and your pan, which I'll show you in a sec. And you can also get the hot water going. Now the next bit of camping equipment we've got is a pot and a pan. You can't have a kitchen without a pot and a pan. So this pot and pan combo comes from Torpedo 7. And it's pretty snazzy. You've got the pan here that can go right up there. And then you've got some measuring cups and microfiber cloth to wipe it down. And then now uh, You've also got that here for some soups, if you like, or you got this here for eggs. So your camping kitchen is pretty well thought out. So the next part of our kitchen is water. We have a 10 liter plastic water carrier. You can fill it up at the water supply and bring it down and it will be your kitchen water supply. Don't forget a durable cup and bowl. And then last but not least, your kitchen utensils. In this tidy little box, we've got a chopping board that comes with its own knife, microfiber towel. Now this is really good for cleaning up, obviously, but also when you're packing your tent down, it's important to give it a wipe so that you can dry it as much as you can before rolling it up, putting it in the bag and packing it into the panniers. That way when it comes to your next campsite and you set it up, 
it's a whole lot easier. Now, the utensils we have in here include tongs, we've got cutlery, two sets of cutlery, and we've got dish cleaning equipment, dish soap, and also what I thought was really important was a washing line. Now you could hang your wet dish cloths, but you could also just hang up clothes to dry in the sun. If you like motorcycle camping content with some New Zealand touring, make sure to subscribe and click like. So that's each piece of our camping equipment we've thoughtfully selected for its compactness and also for comfort when you're out moto camping. So if you found this video useful, you know what to pack now when you go moto camping, click a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video. The next video I'm going to set up my campsite and setting up the campsite means packing the bag strategically so that when you get to your campsite, the things on top are the things you need first, which mean the things you need last are the first things into the bike. My name is Patrick Rankin from Moto New Zealand. See you soon.